This informative video is brought to you by Chesapeake Utilities. The gas-fired reciprocating engine is an internal combustion engine, which is one of the several prime movers used for power generation. This technology is similar to the engine typically found in an automobile or a truck. There are two types of reciprocating engines. The first type is a spark ignition engine. Typically, a spark ignition engine is a derivative of the gasoline engine that uses a spark plug to combust natural gas. The second type is a compression ignition engine, or diesel engine. Compression ignition engines are designed to run on a dual fuel configuration that burns mostly natural gas, combined with a small amount of diesel used for ignition. Engine-driven CHP systems incorporate a reciprocating engine to turn a generator and recover useful thermal energy in the process. Waste heat can be recovered from the engine's jacket water or engine's cooling loop, hot exhaust, and or lubrication system to produce low pressure steam or hot water that's available for use by the facility to meet thermal needs. Recovering the waste heat provides a total system efficiency of around 85%. Various natural gas engine products are available for a wide array of applications and duty cycles, including standby or emergency power, peaking service or peak shaving, base load power, and of course, combined heat and power or CHP. They can withstand various ambient conditions such as climate or high elevations. These systems excel when used for variable load applications that might require frequent startups and shutdowns. Because of their small size, low cost, heat recovery potential, and fast startup time, natural gas-fired reciprocating engines are highly desired for combined heat and power applications. Reciprocating engines are available for power generation applications in sizes ranging from one kilowatt to over five megawatts. The use of reciprocating engine technologies continues to grow driven by economic and source fuel efficiency factors, as well as environmental pressures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, which helps improve grid reliability. For more information on CHP systems and prime movers, please visit www.understandingchp.com.